You know, sometimes we hear some news. News is either good or bad. It's either about peace or about war. It's either about something positive or negative. Important pieces of news. How do we react? Let me tell you typically what we do. You desperately need butter, for example. Let's say ghee. Now ghee, you know what ghee is, okay? You desperately need it. And someone tells you it's at one-tenth of the price at the store that is across the road. What, you, what, what are you going to do? A lot of people would start forwarding messages with a good heart, with a good heart. This, I'm giving you a very light example. With a good heart, you start forwarding messages. Mashallah, it's good. But the problem is if you need it, what you've got to do is make sure you've secured your one or two tins before everybody else gets it. So you start making a move. But if you're going to announce it before you've done anything about yourself, you might sit and say, guy, you know what? I needed it more desperately than everybody else. But they've all got it and I don't have it. Okay? That's a simple, light example. What would be the best thing to do? The best thing is make your plan. And while you're doing that, you can let the rest know. There's a time to tell the people. There's a place to tell the people. I give you a more serious example. If there is a man with a gun out there and someone sees it, there are so many ways of reacting. He can either start screaming, yelling, and then this guy takes, what happens with a thief? You ask those who know. I think here in Cape Town, people know. When someone wants to hijack a vehicle from Gatesville, he is a fool. The reason is you can't come out of Gatesville. You're not going to get out of this place. And when that happens, do you know that he will start panicking? If he has a weapon, the thieves, a lot of the times they use these weapons when they start panicking. Okay? So if you're in the wrong place, wrong time, there's going to be crossfire. Do you understand what I'm saying? When a thief comes in, if he's armed, there's a different way of dealing with this. We are, we are fortunate, we are from Africa. That's why we taught this drill. People who are hearing this lecture, living in other countries might be saying, what is he talking about? But it's a fact. If a man is armed, you deal with him differently. Very different. You've got to make sure. He says, you say, look, take what you want. He says, look down, you look down. Look up, you look up. Things that you wouldn't even do in salah. Astaghfirullah. You know, a lot of us... When Allah says, do this, do that, we don't do it. But a thief with a gun says, do it, we did it. Khalas. On the ground, you're on the ground. But five salah, we're not on the ground. Allahu Akbar. May Allah forgive us. So, you know how to react because, or you should be. Because if you react wrongly, it's going to become dangerous. So, if you scream and the guy panics, there's a problem. Rather, you can, you, you deal with the situation. You can let one or two people know, you know a certain uncle, you know someone else, you know, you know the security of the masjid. Like we say, unmarked vehicles, there are unmarked security members that are here. A lot of you might know them, some of you might not know them, but they're there. So now what happens? Subhanallah, you deal with them in a beautiful way. The problem is solved. When people come out, they heard, you know, there was a guy who tried his luck, but he was dealt with. He was dealt with. Why? Because you dealt with it and you reacted in the correct way.